It's Diane Yetter from the Sales Tax Institute and happy to have you here with us for another episode of our Women to Watch in Sales Tax. And today we are thrilled to have Andrea Ansaw from 14 West Administrative Services, where she is the state and local tax manager. So Andrea, welcome. Hi, glad to be here. All right, perfect, Andrea. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what 14 West Administrative Services does and what your role is there? Yeah, sure. Um, 14 West is um, basically a um, shared service um, company where we basically uh, we, we um, um, have shared service with publishing companies. Um, and so my role there, as I said, is the state and local tax manager, but I work, you know, on a oh, whole list of other things um, in the international space as well. Um, so basically research, geo reconciliations, um, and like I said, the international space with that GST and just managing the sales and use tax process that we have. Is there something that you've been able to accomplish in your career, Andrea, that you're most proud of? Basically taking that leap of faith and getting and, and starting in sales tax. You know, I you know, I started in public accounting. I didn't know what sales, I mean, I, I didn't know what sales tax was. I mean, they put you in state and local, okay, you're just doing, you know, regular C, you know, state and local tax returns. But when I took my first job in sales tax, I'm like, wow, this is a lot. Like, so just, <laughs> so just, um, and then a great place, uh, is in a great um, subject in tax where you can grow. I mean, it's so much you can just do and learn. Um, so just taking that first step. And then now, um, I don't know my thing, is just understanding internationally how um, VAT and, GS and GST tax works on the international space. And that has been very, I, I, I really enjoy doing that a lot. So as you talk to or think about um, women that are maybe earlier in their career and coming up in the sales tax field, do you have any advice to give them? Yeah, be open to change. Um, you know, sometimes with um, sales tax, some, some, some processes can be routine, like actually following the return and, you know, getting the data, that type of stuff. But even with that, like, you know, switch it up sometimes. Like, don't just stick to the same process, you know? Um, because you don't know where you can um, find places where you can do it more efficient. Um, so like for instance, with our GL, um, I try to every, you know, close every end of the year, try to do, you know, figure out, okay, how can I make this process better? Um, and so it has gotten better throughout the years. Um, and hopefully within this year, we're working on, you know, using um, I'll check this data um, company to help, you know, mainstream that process. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's all about being open to change and not sticking to the same routine in your, in, in your, um, in your processes, because there's always a way to make things better in my opinion. Yeah. That is great advice, Andrea. Thank you so much for being with us and thank you for sharing uh, your a little course. bit of your history uh, with our audience. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Diane.